Hello there and welcome back to another video on the channel Here on Theme Park Jack or should I say Festive Park Jack Today we are going to be starting a new series I did trial an episode a few weeks ago in some other park Wasn't a fan of it so I have redone it completely This is a new park, we're going to try and build a realistic British theme park Okay so the part that you see now I have made on the custom scenario creator I've made it quite easy the scenario because I do want to focus on building a theme park rather than achieving a load of objectives as to how many people I've got to have in the park. So what I'm doing now is basically laying down a plaza main street style area and I'm also putting in some shops as well. So let's just talk about the kind of rides that I'm going to be building in the park for a minute. So wooden coasters, um, vintage frill steel coasters, so like Schwarzkopf looping coasters, classic woodies like stuff inspired by the Big Dipper and Grand National and obviously some modern up to date rides as well. I'm not going to be building any ginormous rides in there because as I said I do want to make it kind of realistic so I want to make it a typical British theme park like I don't know like Water Valley maybe and then over the years it's kind of developing and adding much bigger and better rides. Okay so now I am beginning work on the wooden roller coaster. Now I want this to be kind of like the centrepiece of the park for now. Um, it's going to be inspired by rides such as the Big Dipper which is at Blackpool Pleasure Beach, the Grand National a bit as well, the kind of the turns on it where it goes up very high and just gradually manoeuvres its way around and also the Antelope at Gulliver's World. Not the biggest wooden coaster however as it is my local park and I have been there with my family quite a few times I do know that coaster quite well. So it's not a copy of any of them hardly but I have just taken some inspiration of the elements from them. There's lots of elements on this where it goes quite high up so it'll go down and then it'll just make it over the hill to try and have that feel that most of them vintage wooden coasters do for most of the layout you're not flying around it which is how it's meant to be really fast at the bottom then slow up top and i do actually pre place a trim brake on the ride in a bit to try and slow that down i wanted a wooden coaster to be kind of the focus of the part for now as I'm, I'm a massive fan of them. My favourite roller coaster in the UK is actually Megaphobia, which is at Oakwood Theme Park in South Wales. I just love them, I think, especially on that, riding through it, it's going really fast, all the airtime on it and all that. When it's pitch black in the middle of the night, it is just absolutely brilliant. I've ridden Icon at the Pleasure Beach, I enjoy that, that is my second favourite. But as far as it does go in terms of that, Megaphobia is my favourite coaster. The Grand National, the Big Dipper, they do all come up very high as well, as I just really do enjoy them all. I think that good vintage wooden coasters, Megaphobia isn't really vintage, but it still has its more retro compared to some of the newer wooden coasters such as Wicker Man. It still has that cool feel, lots of airtime hills, lots of turns, and it is a great ride. Maybe in the future I will build a more modern wooden coaster like that, like a GCI or a Gravity Group coaster. But for now, I want it to be something vintage. So while I'm doing that, I'll just talk about my upload schedule on YouTube at the minute. I hope you have been enjoying Festive Park Jack, which is, I did fall behind a bit last week because I wasn't well at all really. But what I'm trying to do is upload 25 new videos this month by the 25th of December. Now it's going to be a big challenge. Up until about a week ago I was doing very well. I, I think it's 7 or 8 videos I need to get out extra over these next few weeks. Which I'm going to stagger because I can't do 8 videos in one day. Absolutely no way. You know I've got school and everything as well. But what I'm trying to do is stagger them all out. So by the 25th of December, I will be caught up. I will be doing, well, I won't be filming it on Christmas Day, obviously. It's my birthday as well, so I'll be too busy opening presents, hopefully. And, of course, giving others, giving presents to the rest of my family as well. But um, I will be publishing the... Um, theme park jack christmas special on that day so that will feature a q and a if you have got any questions that you know you would like me to answer or anything you can of course comment them down below or 
you can ask them on my Twitter account, which is at TPJ underscore JTFCD, which is Jack the Fish Crazy Dude, my other channel that I haven't really been using at the minute, hopefully will in the future. Or you can message me, of course, on Instagram at tpj.jtfcd underscore YouTube. And, of course, commenting on all my videos. I think that I am so far really happy with the way that this coaster has turned out. It's about the average length of one of them rides. They're never very long. It's usually an out and back coaster. So it goes out on its course, turns around, then comes back. Whereas on this, there are a few goes it's kind of going in a zigzagging motion back towards the station it is an original layout obviously as i said inspired by some classic wooden coasters in the uk that i've been on but does feature some original elements too that i haven't um, ridden in the uk before such as a double up there that i've put in but yeah so as you can see there is that turnaround where it's quite low down there um, I am just debating for a minute of where or not I should put it, but after that turnaround, I do decide to put a trim brake in. Now, I want to do the trim brake as low as I can, so I try to go down to four miles an hour, which is the lowest you can go, and still, it really does halt the train, so I was a bit unsure whether or not to leave it. I have left it in, because I think that otherwise it would be going way too fast around the rest of the course, and it just wouldn't look right at all. But it is kind of weird how how much it does stop the train because it literally grinds it to a halt and it is just crawling them for the rest of the layout basically, as you will see now. So the best thing that I thought to do was now is to test it and see how the ride turns out. I think one thing definitely to note is that the train on that is way too long. It's much longer than what it is on most wooden coasters. I think it's like six cars or something, which is absolutely ridiculous. I'll probably take it down to either three or four, which is a normal size, and probably put a second train on it as well. But here we go, it is now testing, and as you'll be able to see now, it does go a lot slower um, once it hits that brake. See, it's going nicely through now, that turnaround there, it just slowly goes round, which is what I want. But then on this, as it, you know, as on that one, it has gone from quite a high hill to a low down thing. Then obviously, it really does slow down. Now that is a lot, that is going a lot slower and a lot more braking than what there normally would be on an average wooden coaster. But I think something to remember for now is that, at the end of the day, it's roller coaster tycoon, isn't it? And if there are a few things that probably wouldn't happen in a real theme park, it's not the end of the world, providing it is, on the whole, very real. Okay, so there we go then. I have now just put some more paving in, and it is time to work on the queue line. So, before we wrap things up, um, I am hoping to bring out a new episode of this every Monday, hopefully. Maybe more during Festive Park Jack, as... Towards the end of it, I might need some more video ideas, to be honest, because I'm trying to plan videos for the off-season as well until um, the beginning of February when the Pleasure Beach opens then. I can obviously make some more videos there. I am planning on bringing out a Paltons Park review very soon. That might be tonight or it might be tomorrow, possibly the day after. Again, with Festive Park Jack, I'm not saying there'll be a new video every day. What I'm saying is that there will hopefully be 25 new videos this month by the 25th of December, because sometimes during the week, and as I've not been well, I can't put one on every day. Okay, and then finally, I'm going to put some plants in, obviously some flowers, just to make the queue line nice. It's not going to be a particularly well-themed ride, this, because this roller coaster is trying to have the feel that it was built probably in the 1920s or 30s, so I'm sure by then, they wouldn't, really wouldn't have been thinking of some in-depth Disney quality theming to put onto it. It's just a roller coaster that looks nice. So I do want this to be a nice looking park. Obviously, lots of trees, as is, you know, most of Britain in general, and especially where the theme parks are. You know, they mainly are in the countryside, which obviously is really nice, you know, very picturesque and all that. So I am trying to mimic that in this Hence why I'm putting loads of trees everywhere, lots of flowers, and just making it look like a nice place to be. I'll also be building a big lake soon and putting a load of my rides around that as well. So, I do believe that that is the end of this video. 
I would like to thank you um, for watching this, if you have stayed till the end. Um, and I will see you in the next video, which should be very soon. Thank you very much. Bye now.